What up, Brother Jones here? In this video, I'm going to give you the top three lockdown builds in current gen right now. The top three lockdown builds you need to dominate current gen. Now, you may be shocked what order I put what in, but every one of these locks I'm going to put are comp locks and could dominate with these locks. All three will be solid, but there's one that's more superior than the others. There will be one that's more superior than the others. In the comments right now, put your top three lockdown pie chart you feel is the best in order one through three i want to see what y'all got to say first before i put mine down but a large percent is a sub if you enjoy the video make sure you hit that sub button maybe you can always change your mind later this one's for the locks this one's for the lockdowns if you want to make a lock build if you're seeing this and just got the game and you want to know what lock build to make came to the right video now let's get to the lockdown builds now the third best lockdown build in the game in my opinion to run lock and the spot up with etc this build's very diverse. You can not only run lock, you can also run guard. So it's very unique in how you can run this build. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all. You might already know where I'm going with it. But that is the red and yellow pie chart. That is the to me, that is the third best lockdown in this game. Why? Because yes, the defense is good. You don't need high shooting, but you also have playmaking. So it's superior to a lot of other lockdowns. It's superior to a lot of a lot of them because you can run guard with it. So you can make a case that it's higher. You can make a case that it's the best, and I won't get mad at you. I really wouldn't get mad at you because you still get 20 defense. You get 20 playmaking, so you can be a guard. You get enough shooting to green from the corner. You know what I'm saying? You get like eight shooting. That's enough to green from the corner. You can consistently do that, and then you can get eight finishing. All around, or nine finishing, excuse me. You get nine finishing eight shooting 20 playmaking 20 defense if you want less playmaking you can nerf this down to like 15 you want to be like a true lock and just i mean honestly it don't matter <laughs> as you saw it don't really matter but you can get a lot of badges a lot of playmaking badges that help your team even if you're not running it you can get floor general you can get dimer bullet holly special delivery you can, you can get a bunch of little playmaking stuff that will help the team overall. So it's a not it's not a bad build to use, bro. It's not a bad build to use for the team. Um, you can make this 6-4, I recommend. Lower the weight. Look at you, 99 speed. Keeping up with the play shots. Max the arm out. If you're running it as a lock, give it lock tape, and you're going to get a two-way playmaker. You're going to get a two-way playmaker. Now, the two-way playmaker is... A nice build that can be ran as a guard and a lock. You get a combo deal. You get a combo. There's only two locks I feel that are better than this. Only two. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to give it away yet. But there's only two locks I feel that dominates harder than this one defensively. Now, let me show you something real quick what you can do with the playmaker. And why this build is very diverse as far as lockdown. Because you can low-key just... Do some stuff like this. Give it Dimer, Holly, Bullet, Break Starter, you know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of stuff. Floor General to help. Glue Hands if you want to, like, transition out fast. Threader. You don't even need the stuff to dribble if you're not a dribbler. You can do stuff like this, and that'll just help the team out overall. It'll just help the team out. So that makes this build different. And you can, if you spot up in the corner, they hit you in the corner, you can just run to the hole and dunk it. Very good spot up build and good on ball defender. Now for the next build. Alright, so now for the second most overpowered build. It's a it's a it's a favorite of a lot of people. It's a favorite of a lot of people on this channel. And you probably already know what it is. There's only one pot shot I think is better than this one. And this is the pure red. Yes. The pure lockdown to me is not the best lockdown build in this game for a couple of reasons. Number one, offense is so crazily overpowered that the pure locks, to me, don't make enough of an impact to prioritize them over certain other lockdown pot charts. Now, it's the second best in the game for a reason. So, it's still a good, don't get it twisted. It's still good. And you still can dominate with it. But... To me, it's gone down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's gone down. Now, you can do something like this if you don't care about playmaking, just defense and finishing. You can do something like this. Me, personally, I don't do this. I always make sure I have some tier of playmaking. That's just me. That's just how I play. I always make sure I have some tier of playmaking. Um, 
You're gonna have to probably take something down. Let's see what we can take down, bro. Let's see what we can take down. We have to take down offensive rebound right to there and then put the rest there. We got like eight playmaking. All right. Um, you can do like six, seven, something like that. Put the rest there. There you go. Eight finishing, five shooting, seven playmaking, 30 defense. This may not be the best setup, but it's a, it's a get a basis. Now, this build right here is toxic. It will shut down people, but I'm going to show you why in a minute, why a build that can do everything this build can do, but a little better. The benefit of this build is contact dunks, but I'm going to be keeping a thousand with y'all. If you're going to make a pure red, you might as well just make a paint beast, bro. You might as well just make him a couple inches taller and just make him a paint beast. But it's still a good build. I ain't gonna, I would never talk down on this build. It's still good. Honestly, I'd probably go 6'5 or 6'4. Minimum weight, max the arm. You know what I'm saying? Lock take. And you're gonna get a two way finisher. All right. All around solid. You still get rim protector. You still get 30 defensive badges. You still gonna be able to shut down the play shots to a degree. But there is one build. That I think is better than a pure lock that I might end up making over the pure lock. And I'm going to explain why. By the way, some of you may wonder why I didn't make that pure lock that tall. That's because the mismatch actually, you don't want to be too tall against them little play shots. I'm telling you, you want to be around their height. You don't want that mismatch expert boost to enhance. So do not make no 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six PG lock. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're four inches taller. And that's when that boost kick in. If you're only an inch or two taller than the six twos, it won't be as big a booze. You'll be able to clamp them better. That's just a pro tip. But now, check this out. Now for the final build, man. The best lockdown build in the game. What is it? What is it? Which one's the best? It is officially this pie chart right here. I know y'all like, oh, that pie chart? The reason I chose this pie chart is because it's better. Honestly, over, overall, for what you're trying to do, it's better. Now, let me show you exactly why. Pick the speed. Now, let's go to the defense. We're getting Hall of Fame defense gold shooting. We don't need Hall of Fame shooting on this build. Now, look at this. Look at this. We get 24 defensive badges Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, bruh. And we can still get 99 speed. It's just six less badges than a pure lockdown. But here's the kicker. You don't have to sweat as hard to shoot. You don't have to sweat as hard to shoot. Look at this. 70 some three ball, you're cash. You won't miss. Not only are you a guaranteed spot up lockdown, but you also have the ability to clamp just like a pure does. But check this out. Even if this is the setup, one, 14, 7, 24, all around solid, and you make it 6, 4, minimize the weight, and look, you get 99 speed at 99. You can make it 6, 3 if you want to. Remember, don't make them too tall. Do not make your locks too tall. If the meta is 6, 2, you got to be around 6, 3, 6, 4. Do not go 6, 6, 6, 7, because then you're going to enhance their mismatch badge. And they're going to shoot over you. And you're going to be like, oh, what is this? You got to be eye level with them. All right. Then their mismatch expert don't work. So look at me. Jones coming up with alternative methods. It won't work if you're short. That's why I'm remaking my lock. I'm remaking my lock like 6364. Either probably 64 and so you can get 99 speed at it. Look at this. Max the arm. Give it lock take. And you got the best lockdown build in the game. And with a 74 three ball. 78 and 99 you're gonna bro you're gonna be able to do everything you gotta do it's almost an 83 ball and you're in a corner and we're gonna go through the badges in a second but you give it lock take of course and you're gonna get a perimeter lockdown all right this is the best build in the game better than a pure lock pure locks only advantage a pure lock honestly got is the ability to contact dunk but realistically what do pure locks really do they guard the ball and they spot up that's what they do this guards the ball and it spots up you can you got enough dunking to dunk and that's fine you got enough to get the dunk off that's really all you need so go in there now for the badge look at this you got 24 bro chase down bronze bronze clamps because you don't need it high a uh, minute silver they say you don't need it that high pick holly intercept the holly no gimmicks 
tireless bronze. I'm hooking y'all up. Uh, hustler, I do hustle hall of fame. I ain't with the gimmicks. Hustle hall of fame. You can do ankle braces. Ball stripper at bronze is solid. Um, shoot, rebound chaser if you wanted it. You know what I'm saying to help with the boards, and the rest can go to intimidate. You can do something like this, and you will be kind of all around, be able to do everything. If you want to guard the screen, pick Dodger is the way to go too. All around, that's a good setup, and then of course the shooting, which makes it dangerous. Corner, catch, hot zone, sniper, and then nothing else really matters. You can put a little, a small tier of blinders and like a green machine or a lucky seven if you get dotted very early. You know what I'm saying? All this setup makes this the best lockdown build for what you're trying to do, bro. You want to be able to shoot and defend and defend like a pure you saw the stats bro 89 base 90s once you're 99 that's insane for this bill that's very high 93 perimeter 93 lateral 99 steel you're a, you basically playing like a pure lock so hopefully you enjoyed the video man leave a like sub if you new until next video i'll see y'all then man